Hi, I'm Ajay Sivikram, Cloud Architect at Docker. So in an earlier tutorial, what we looked at was how to invoke an API and get back the JSON payload. So we used the Amazon Pet Store API as an example. Now in this segment, what we're going to look at is some ways to deal with the JSON string that is returned. So first, let's recap. We got back, as a part of our API call, three dogs with different prices. So it's a pet store example, obviously. So let's go back to workflows and the one that we were working on, where we have already set up how to invoke the Amazon Pet Store API. So I'm going to start with a simple example of using a text compose to use a value that is already parsed out for us, the status code. So typically the status code will be used to check in an if then statement. So you can see how we drag and drop from the output of the if then statement. Now what I'm going to do is look at the JSON parse, which can take a string and parse it into an object or list. So I take the JSON string and parse it into an object. Let me go ahead and call this parsed string. Great. Now we have an object. What do we do with the object? So let's go ahead and perhaps uh, get different values of the object. So I can use various paths, right? So what I'll do is I can say, uh, let me get several values of the object at one go, and I'm going to get the values. So take my parse string, I'm going to get the first ID, the first type, and the first price. Great. Now that I've got um, multiple values. Another way I can manipulate it is maybe I just want all the prices of the various dogs. So I'm going to go in and use the list pluck. So I take my parse string again and this time I get the price. So I'll get a list of three prices for the three dogs, right? The next thing that I may want to do is flatten the list. So let me go ahead and flatten the list. And out of that, I want to extract out the ID, the type, and the price. Now, before I go any further, let me go ahead and save this and create a child flow, which I'm going to invoke from a for each. So I'm going to parse through each item uh, returned through the API and take that ID type and price and pass it to a child flow. So let's say that this child flow takes three inputs, the ID, type, and price. And what I'm going to do is something just very simple. I'm going to go ahead and put it into a text compose card. I may want to put it into an octet table, call another API, and so on. Uh, but we'll keep things simple for this tutorial. And I'll just say ID. I'll drag the ID across. Don't care too much about formatting right now. And 
and then I grab the price. Let me save this, give it a name, and I'll just say that this is 1.1 to represent that it is a child flow of the sample. Let me come back and over here back in the parent flow I'm going to use a list for each I'm going to take this flatten list call my child flow and pass in the ID type and price for each of these now notice I can even set a concurrency value to run three of them in parallel. Let me save this and test it. So first let me grab the URL from here. And test the flow. And now let's look at the output. I'll go through the output of each of those key cards in sequence. So first we dragged and drop a status code from the output of the if then block. We put it onto a text compose card. Then we looked at the JSON parse, which took a string and gave us an object. As output. We use that object to get using a JSON path notation the values for certain keys of the first ID, first type, and first price. Then I use the list pluck to get the values corresponding to the key price for all the dogs. I flatten the list and then I call the for each loop. So if I were to go back and look at the flow history for the child flow, you'll notice there are three executions corresponding to each of those dogs. That concludes this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.